Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the date is the 5th of September, and now it is officially one day until I move to Orlando, Florida to start my cultural representative program in the United Kingdom Epcot Pavilion. Um, can't believe it's that time now, but I guess it's finally time for a packing video, so uh, come with me and, and we'll get started. I'm just gonna walk downstairs. I've moved everything down because um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite packed. It's quite packed in the room it was in before. When I say packed, I mean, it was very full. So you'll know what I mean in a second when I show you the monstrosity of mess that I've created down in this room. That stuff isn't mine, but everything else, everything else is. So yeah, I'm not too sure where to start, but I guess I'm gonna have to start somewhere. So we start now. I'm gonna place you down here so you can see all of the good, exciting stuff that I'm about to do. Pack. So I'm gonna move the first, I'm gonna move one half of the case into this case, um, but I'm gonna show you basically what I'm moving across. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs of shorts. Actually, you know what? Let me just put them there for a second because I'm gonna put them in the way I put them in before. Uh, I'm, I've got one pair of jeans, one pair of joggers, one pair of cargos, one pair of linen trousers, and two pairs of chinos. Uh, the chinos being the smarter items of clothing for traditions. Traditions, not additions, what I just said, traditions. So they're gonna go nicely in here. And I'm gonna put my shorts just on top as they were before in the other case. Now, the most exciting part, I know, I know what you're thinking. It is extremely exciting. Uh, I'm trying to think where I can put you so you can see a bit better. Uh, bear with me. I've got a feeling that's probably a better angle, but anyway. Pants and socks, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna count them in. So I've got three pairs of new socks here, unopened, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 11 plus the new threes, 14, 14 pairs of socks. I've got one belt, two belts. One's a more casual belt and one's a smarter belt for the chinos. And now it's time for pants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen pairs of pants. Same as the socks. They're nicely tucked away. Three pairs of pajama bottoms because I don't want to be giving my roommate a scare. And three pairs of swim shorts. So they will fit nicely in here. I guess the hard part now is oh, climbing in. I guess the hard part now is putting things that aren't closed into the case and trying to get everything packed. So I'm gonna start off with my toiletries, already in this bag, but I put a few separate things in this bag so that they don't leak. Um, moisturizer, two in one, uh, shampoo, conditioner, Body wash, after sun, and sun cream. So they are in this bag of goodies, along with 
hairspray, three toothbrush heads, uh, two roll-on deodorants, and a smaller hairspray. Let's put this back in. Also can't forget the toothpaste. Next, I'm going to pack some shoes in this case because I think that's probably best. Number one, Crocs. Also check out that gibbet. Is it focusing? Cast member. Very important, Crocs. They'll be good for rainy days at the parks. And let me also put in white sambas. These are potentially going to be my tradition shoes, unless I can find like a, a an all white pair. But yeah, going to wear these with my traditions outfit. Next thing I'm packing is hats. One, two, three, four. I've got five hats. One, a little Budweiser hat. Two, uh, Orlando hat. Obviously, got to be done. Ralph Lauren hat and a truck hat from Camp America. So they are all going in the case now. Let's just hope they don't bend. That is the worry. Um, yeah, it's looking good so far though. It's looking good. I'm happy with the progress, um, but yeah, still more to do. Right, the next bit that's going in my case is, is pretty uh, pretty important. I've got a lot of stuff in here. And that is going to be my medical bag. This bag, by the way, Ikea, three pounds, highly recommend. Um, I'm not gonna pull everything out because it's, it's already packed away, but I'm gonna try and just list off some of the stuff that's actually in here. It's got a COVID test, cold and flu, Gaviscon, uh, antihistamine, some energy tablets, plasters, compedes, uh, some COVID masks just in case, ibuprofen, uh, some bite relief cream. And yeah, that, essentially that's, that's all that is in there. But very useful stuff to have nonetheless. So that is going in the case. Hmm, what next? Where to start? Oh, I'm gonna put my speaker in there actually. Oh, it's lost me. Hey, <laughs> come back. Yep, speaker in the case. Okay, I've just been to the shops um, to get some sweets and chocolate and tea bags to take with me because uh, yeah, when we're out there, a lot of this stuff I won't be able to get. So um, I'll show you that in a second, but we're gonna continue with the packing. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna put some more things in my case now. But yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. That's one case and there's my other case. Just gonna sit you back down here. So I'll talk you through. I've got like dental bits here, um, like flosses, tooth floss and all that, all that type of thing. It's going in. Um, and some retainer bright as well, because you know, us retainer wearers know the struggle. Some more flosses as well. Very important. Food clip bag, uh, food, food clips in a bag. I know I can get them there, but it does be really useful to have in the first week. Um, just some like moisturizing creams. And then I've got uh, nail scissors, tweezers, and um, it's like a little tool to get blackheads. If you know, you know. I can tie this up now. 
got my electric uh, razor here, you know, for my massive um, beard that I have. Next, I've got these very important earbuds. They're going in. If I can fit them in. Quite a big box that'll jam in there. Um, and I've got some like blue tack and command hooks. Again, things I can get there, but they're a bit more expensive out there, so um, better to take them across, save some money. Just thought I'd quickly show these. Um, these were requested by someone that is already there uh, that I must bring. If you know, you know, but I had to get the England pants just because, you know, representing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just putting those in now too. I'm actually going to transfer, there's um, like a white linen short sleeve, a white linen long sleeve, um, another linen shirt, and those other bits into this case just because this side, as you can see, is already pretty crammed. I don't want to put any more clothes in it just because I don't want things to get all squashed and creased just like this one is. So, yeah, I'm going to move that to there. The next couple of bits I'm going to be putting in this case is or are these uh, coat hangers. I've got two packs. They'll just be good to obviously hang up all my uh, shirts and polos, jumpers. But again, that's something that um, in the past, I think we've struggled to buy out in America. So I'm just taking them over with us. They're going in there. And also just a laundry bag to use for when I move in, because I don't want to be stinking out uh, <laughs> the room uh, and annoy my roommate. So there and there now too. I'm actually gonna make an attempt now and move a couple of pairs of shoes into this case just to get this case rolling a bit. Because as you can see, this one is looking quite nice at the moment. It's looking nice and full. But I've still got various bits of camera gear and things I'm putting in my hand luggage that I need to sort out too. Uh, but we will get around to that, so. Oh, and also I'll show you a sneak peek of some of the goodies that I've bought. Uh, these are the plane. We see the HP sauce, the Yorkshire tea bags, Tang Fast Sticks, um, and all that fun stuff in there. So I'll show you that all shortly. One pair of shoes. In you go. Pop you there. Of course, had to take the black sambas represent. In you go, just like that. Uh, and these are new Solomon shoes which I'm gonna be wearing to travel. But I just really like the color, actually. Um, not seen them before. Suede, they should be comfy. They should be nice park shoes as well. Um, so yeah. In this bag of goodies that I was on about earlier, we have these mini bags of pretzels, which I'm gonna be taking some um, on the plane in my hand luggage, because they are just so nice. Yorkshire tea bags. They're actually going to go straight into the case because they can just stay there. Tumble dryer sheets because they just smell really nice and they'll be great for all my stinky uniform. Ooh, HP sauce. I'm going to put this in a separate bag just so uh, it doesn't leak, but you can get it out there. It's just very expensive. And uh, obviously, yeah. Don't really want to be paying loads of money for it. Good when I can get it here. Curly whirly, they're going in there. Time fast sticks, they are going in my hand luggage. Chocolate pretzels, they're also going in my hand luggage. Uh, mint arrow bowls, sharos. Never heard them called that, but. They're also hand luggage. Um, bear in mind, I'm not going to eat the, all of them. I'm not that greedy. Um, although I could probably do, give it a good go. Dairy milk, Marvel Creations. Now, if you don't know, uh, yeah, there's jelly and popping candy and like or crispy chocolate bits inside, and it is like it, it is so good, and you can't get it in America, I believe. So, yes, got one of them. Twirl bites, just because I like twirls. Um, Mars bars, mm. Mars bars are so good, honestly. Now, my all time favorite Yorkie bars, they're just, just the best chocolate, like, 
if you don't know, you just don't know. And I can't really explain, but they are just amazing. So they are going in there. And finally, chocolate bourbon biscuits. Again, if you know, you know. You're a real one if you know. I mean, you're a real one if you don't know as well, but yeah. Got a few bits here, which I'm just gonna put into my case. So I've got this Epcot bin, which I got for my birthday. Uh, I think I got this one for Christmas, but yeah, they're just really cool. And I got the Cheshire Cat, cause you know, Cheshire Matt. And how cool are these measuring spoons? So yeah, I'm gonna be using these. I'm gonna pop these right in the case. One, two, three, and four. Hopefully, they'll be safe and sound in there. And also, this is coming with me as well. This might have to go my keys or something. It's a, so it's a flamingo for flamingo crossings. Um, yeah, I got it from Boots. It was literally 50p. I mean, you can't go wrong, can you? So that's also going in the case. There you go. I don't even know if this pile's going down, to be honest. It's taking a little while, um, but we must crack on. Da, 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 da. Look at this, Darth Vader poncho. This is from, this is from years ago. Um, I don't even know if they still sell them, but how cool is that? I'll be rocking this in uh, Hollywood Studios in Star Wars Land and uh, I'll be joining the dark side. I also got this Mickey poncho, which is out of the bag, but it's uh, just a clear poncho with Mickey Mouse on it and it's, uh, it's cool. So I used to have to wear this on Splash Mountain, but now I'll be wearing it on Tiana's, which I'm very excited to ride because it's brand new. So you will be going there. I also realized I never showed you like the contents in this half of the case. So I'm literally just gonna quickly unpack it and just tell you what I'm putting back in. So I'll, I'll quickly show you that now. Three, two, one. First got this uh, really nice uh, vintage Nike crew neck jumper. I love the colour um, and it's just like a nice cosy fit so I'm taking that with me. Also this vintage uh, Mickey like 2000s crew neck jumper. Um, it's really cool. I, I was looking for one with this year because I was born in 2000. It's just got a really cool design which like they don't really make ones like these anymore so that's also in the pile. I got this Oakley, it's kind of a greeny Greeny color, um, zip, it's nice and thin and lightweight. So I know because Florida is very hot um, and I've, I, I know I've taken too many hoodies and packed too many hoodies, but yeah, I'm just gonna take too many hoodies and I'll probably end up buying more there just because I have a bit of an issue. But yeah, it's nice and soft and cozy. And uh, I also got this fat face quarter zip with the England flag just because I'm representing England. So I want to, I want to let the people know. And then in this side still, a uh, Carhartt t-shirt, which I actually got in America, and this racing t-shirt, which I actually got in America as well. So yeah, I'll show you the other side now. Um, these are two polos, which I've bought for Traditions from Next. They're a really nice fit. And I got some new chinos to go with them as well. But yeah, they're there. And um, this really cool Manchester top from the Manchester North Face shop in the Trafford Center. Um, I'm probably not going to take all these out just because I've ironed some. <laughs> I mean, would you would you believe it? That was ironed. Um, that one, that's a cool one I got from uh, Walmart actually, Mossy Oak. Uh, plain ones, plain ones. I'll show you the really cool Epcot one as well. Ta da! This is like a vintage t shirt I got on eBay. All of them I've got on like eBay and Depop, but yeah, that's a really cool one with all the flags. So. Yeah, representing Epcot. And I've actually got, I'll count for you as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's about 17, 18 t-shirts. And I know that is a lot. And I know that's a lot. And you don't have to tell me that's a lot because I know it's a lot, but I've got the space, I'm taking two suitcases and worst comes to worst, I'll just send some back if I, if, you know, but I'd rather have more than less. Let's put it that way. I have two big bags, like 
for shoes, shoe bags basically. I uh, got them from Ikea as well. well. I think they'll be really good, especially if like, if I get caught in the rain and just, you know, they're soaking wet and I just need to put them somewhere out of sight. Um, these will be really handy. So yeah, I think honestly, Ikea should sponsor me for the goodies I've got from them. Um, Ikea, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. I'm also taking um, some insoles for basically like work shoes and ones that I'll be wearing quite regularly um, that I don't just want to destroy instantly. So I'm taking a pack of these and they're also very nicely scented, so that'll help. <laughs> Next into the bag, my a gilet, a nice gilet, just because it'll be nice to just wear a t-shirt when it's a little bit warmer and I mean, when it's a little bit cooler on those colder nights. Yeah, I think it'd be really nice. Um, if I go traveling to other states, I know it does get cold to other states too, so it's just gonna be ideal to have. Next thing I'm packing is, this is a, an Arc'teryx waterproof. Basically, it was, a, it was a birthday treat last year to myself, um, but it's, it's so good, like rain just literally rolls off it, and that'll be very much needed in America because uh, if you know, it rains for a good solid hour or two every day during hurricane season. I mean, the fact that the state even has a hurricane season is pretty crazy, but that is gonna, that is gonna keep me bone dry. So that is next in the case. I think one of the last items of clothing is uh, this Carhartt. It's kind of like a windbreaker, water resistant. Again, I got it in America, the Carhartt outlet, but I think this would be really handy for the rain and and the cooler nights and the winter and stuff. So yeah, I think that's probably the last bit of clothing, unless I decide to add any additionals other than these Birkenstocks, which I'm also just currently wearing. I'm a socks and sandals kind of guy, but why not, eh? Why not? All right, um, <laughs> it's now 11 p.m. This is, uh, it's kind of scattered all over the place, but it's been a super busy night. Uh, we just had a takeaway but my packing is now officially done. Um, I'm just gonna flip it around. So I've got one case full, uh, another case full. I've got like my hand luggage here. And I've got one last um, cabin bag with various bits and bobs in there. Setting my alarm for 5 a.m. and gonna get up, have breakfast, have a coffee, have a shower. And then we're shooting off to Manchester Airport at 6 a.m. So I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to do a travel day video. Hope you enjoyed this packing video. And it's been like, again, <laughs> there's a trend with my vlogs. They're always over the place, but I hope it was somewhat useful. Um, and you kind of get a glimpse into what it's like doing the program uh, and all the preparation that goes into it. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow.